Hi there. If you can tell the difference between a screwdriver and a drill, then installing Barrier Profiosmo won't be a problem. Here's a short video to guide you through the process. Now before you begin, please make sure the cold water valve is shut off to avoid flooding. The valve is usually located under the sink. Open the cold water faucet to relieve the remaining pressure in the tube. Once you're ready, you can move on to installation. This is a new faucet for our filter. You now need to locate a convenient place where you can install it and connect it to the water supply system. Usually it's the corner of the sink or a spot on the countertop right near it. In this case, it will be the countertop. Drill a hole with a 12 mm or 15-32 inch bit. Before installing the faucet, put a decorative chrome plate and a gasket underneath. The gasket has a slightly larger size. Now put the faucet into the hole. On the bottom side there are two washers. One is a smaller plastic one and the other is a tiny metal one. The faucet will be held in place by a nut which we screw on with a 14 mm or 9 16 inch wrench. Now it's time for the fitting. Make sure there's a rubber washer inside. We're now done with stage one. It should look like this. Now you need to install a T adapter. Take an adjustable wrench and disconnect the faucet flex line from the cold water supply line. Install the adapter, but first make sure there's a rubber washer inside. Reconnect the cold water supply flex line with a washer onto the adapter. Now unscrew the nut off the ball valve and put it on the blue plastic tube. Push the plastic tube onto the branch. Apply pressure if needed. Tighten the nut by hand. It's recommended not to use any tools to avoid damaging the tube. We also need to connect the filter to the waste pipe to provide drainage for the reverse osmosis membrane. Drill an 8mm or a 5-16 inch hole on the vertical stretch of the drain pipe between the sink and the trap. Place the seal tightly on the saddle clamp. Put the saddle on the drain pipe so that the two holes are lined up. Tighten the screws evenly so that the clamps sit as tight as possible facing each other. Push the black plastic tube into the fitting of the saddle. We now need to install the RO membrane module into the body of the filter. Push out the plastic tube from the fitting in the cap. Remove the cap using a supplied wrench. Push the membrane all the way into the housing. Put the cap back on and push the tube into the fitting just as it was initially, that is about 17 mm deep. This connection is very secure. The innovative pushing fitting technology ensures complete water tightness and exceptional ease of assembly. Just push the tube all the way into the fitting, around 17 mm or 7-10 inch deep. If you need to disconnect it later on, just push the ring down and pull the tube out. It's now time to install the valve for the reservoir. You will need two or three wraps of Teflon tape. Thread on the valve and tighten with an adjustable wrench. It shouldn't be too tight. Now push the red plastic tube into the fitting. We can now install the filter. Remember that the supplied plastic tubes are 1.5 meters or 59 inches long. This should be the maximum distance from the filter both to the clean water faucet and the ball valve. Make sure there's enough space for you to reach the ball valve whenever needed and that the connectors are not twisted and there's no tension in the lines. One option is to mount the filter on the cabinet wall. Insert the blue plastic tube into the in port of the filter. 
you can use angle fitting for convenience. Insert the red plastic tube into the in port of the stage 5 housing. Use the white tube to connect the out port of the stage 5 housing and the clean board to force it. Now insert the black plastic tube into the flow limiter fitting. Barrier Profiosmo is now installed. Before you turn the water back on, run over the lines once again to make sure they are connected this way. We can now turn on the water. Make sure that the valve of the reservoir and the ball valve are in the off position. Open the clean water faucet. Open the valve on the cold water supply line. Now open the ball valve feeding water to the filter. The clean water will not flow immediately. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to bleed the air out of the system. Even when the water starts flowing, the pressure will be minimum because the reservoir valve is still off. This is how we flush the system. When all the air is out, you can shut off the clean water faucet. Soon after that, the water will stop flowing into the drainage system. Keep the system under pressure for around 10 minutes. Check the system for any leaks. If needed, tighten the connections. You can now feel the reservoir. Open the valve and wait until the water stops flowing into the drainage system. Flush the water from the reservoir and repeat. This will help to clean the system from any preservatives. That's it. Your barrier filter is available for use. You can safely enjoy your clean water. Don't forget to check connections for leaks within the first week of operation and timely replace your filter elements. It's really easy. Shut off the valve of the reservoir and the ball valve. Open the clean water faucet to relieve pressure. Disconnect the plastic tubes and unmount the filter from the cabinet. Use the plastic wrench that comes with the system to remove the stage 5 housing. Disconnect the fitting and unscrew the cap of the stage 4 housing. Remove the RO membrane. Use the plastic wrench to remove filter housings. Remove used filter elements. Rinse filter housings carefully with warm water and a detergent. Repeat for the caps. Now it's perfectly clean. Here are two things to watch out for. Install new filter elements in the correct order and make sure that the seal is in place and intact. It can be replaced with a spare one that is supplied if needed. Now let's move on to the assembly. Connect the tubes and mount the filter back in place. Open the ball valve. Open the valve of the reservoir. Your barrier Profiosmo is now reinstalled. 